Hello gamers, welcome to Table Talk, and this is our review of Paku Paku. Paku Paku is a quick dice rolling dexterity game. Basically the way it goes is roll dice, stack plates, pass dice. That's how the game plays. You can play up to eight players, which it scales very well. I don't care for eight player Paku Paku. I prefer five, in which everybody would get a dice to start with. Um, with eight players, there are some people that start with dice and some people that don't have dice. But because of the way this game works, there is some interaction and engagement because you have to keep track of where the dice are. Just because you don't start with a dice doesn't mean you're not going to have a dice for very long. I know, but that's just how I feel. The age is for eight and up. I have played this game with my five-year-old cousin, and she is able to play it just fine. So, possibly younger, but uh, I will say that if you're not careful, the small pieces can be a choking hazard. It's relatively quick, uh, the box says 10 minutes. Um, if you go check out our Versus video, we played it in less than 10 minutes, but... It just depends on what you roll to score. It could drag out a little bit longer if everyone gets, gets a go at getting points, and if you think it is too quick, you could put your own house rule variant and, and extend the point value to, to end the game or shorten it if you think it's too long. So the theme is pandas eating their bowl of ramen. Um, it's a cute theme, but honestly, I think any kind of theme would have been fine. Uh, but I do like the panda theme. The component quality, I think, is good. I like that the dice is slightly engraved and then painted. The tokens are, you know, basic, thin uh, cardboard. It's a thin cardboard. It's not handled a lot. It'll do. Nice artwork. Got the bamboo background. There is definitely more than I think we we ever use. Yeah, so it's uh, okay if you game. lose a few. Uh, but then again, we also never play with an eight size party either. Okay. The cute little table to stack on to help uh, essentially make a flat surface, but. Uh, if you have a flimsy table that bounces when you bump it or something, that's yeah, you, you want something a little more stable to play on. And the dishes are well made and balanced, so they stack very well, even in unusual stacking ways. Sometimes. Uh, I, I, I mean, they're, they're a nice durable plastic. When it comes to the difficulty, though, it is very easy to learn, uh, very easy to play. Easy to teach. Uh, the rule book. Is, I think pretty clear and sh short yeah it's pretty short there's not a lot of strategy in this game um, yeah the, the luck to strategy ratio is definitely higher in the luck category than there is strategy and the only real strategy in my opinion in this game is uh, changing the orientation of a stack plate uh, when you stack it but that can just as easily bite you uh, if you have to stack the next one yeah it, it can turn, turn around and work just easily against you as it can for you. There is a little bit of strategy with stacking, but not much. Not, not much. Um, I like this game. I think it's fun. I usually don't like this dexterity game, but this is one of my favorite dexterity games. Um, I'm going to rate this a 5 out of 5 and totally worth the buy. Yeah, I don't have many complaints about this, if any, and my rating is four out of five, um, mostly because there are other there are other games that have a roll and pass dice mechanic, and there are other dexterity games out there that if you prefer stacking, this does a very good job at combining the two. But there are other out there that I think possibly better, and this has that hectic element that sometimes can can be a little too stressful, in my opinion. But I like it. I think it's exciting. Other games that I've played that has a pass the dice kind of mechanic, it's, it's not as exciting as this one. Right. It's, 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 it depends, depends on if you like a lot of chaos or not. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's our review. On Paku Paku, tell us what you think. Like and subscribe. Tell us what you think in the comments down below. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.